In this problem, we want to find an inverse to this function. We've got f of x is equal to 9x plus 1 over x minus 4. Step 1, replace f of x with y. So we've got y is equal to 9x plus 1 over x minus 4. Step 2, interchange x and y. So we've got x is equal to 9y plus 1 over y minus 4. Step 3, solve for, solve for y. Well, we got a fraction. It's always the same. To get rid of a fraction, you multiply everything by the LCM of all your denominators. You only have one denominator, the y minus 4, so that is our LCM. So we'll multiply the x by it, and we'll multiply the fraction on the right side by it. Over here, x times y is xy. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. Over on the right side, the y minus 4 is going to cancel. And we're left with 9y plus 1. Now we're solving for y, so we want to get everything with a y on one side, everything else on the other. So I'll take the 9y over, and I'll take the negative 4x over here. Anytime you take anything across your equals, your sign changes. So the 9y becomes a negative 9y. The negative 4x becomes a positive 4x. Trying to get y by itself, um, uh, there's two ways to get y by itself. Um, a single y is combine together like terms or factor out a y. And we can't combine together like terms, so we'll factor out a y. And that leaves us x minus 9. Now, the last step to get y by itself is to divide both sides by x minus 9. And when we do that, these x minus 9 is going to cancel. And we got y is equal to 4x plus 1 over x minus 9. Now step 4, replace y with your inverse notation. So we're going to have the inverse of f is going to equal to 4x plus 1 over x minus 9. Now there's no need to do step number 5. This is already 1 to 1, but they will oftentimes put a condition on the x. They'll say x cannot equal to 9. They're specifying that for the, s for the domain, because uh, if you put 9 in for x, you get 9 minus 9 in the denominator, which gives you 0. In terms of the homework, I'm happy when people get down to 4x plus 1 over x minus 9. A lot of people don't.